Hello folks, Jared and welcome back to Racing Alice. And today we're going to be taking a look at the other Merc that was released in uh, the past 24 hours as of recording this. I'm probably going to upload this a day after uh, the CLK GTR episode, so uh, here we are. This is the other Merc and it's, uh, it's not R2 class, it's R class. However, um, I would have to say that this is a first, like, I definitely wasn't expecting a uh, fucking mid-90s, uh, I think this is mid-90s, something like that. I definitely wasn't expecting an old DTM uh, car to be released in the racing house, but here we are, and uh, it's it's here. And it looks nice, except for, you know, the very, very low uh, quality texture on the rear, uh, or on the taillights, but, you know, uh, other than that, I'm actually really impressed, like, I was super excited for this car when I first uh, saw a sneak peek of it uh, in the freaking uh, uh, on the Racing Gavels Underground. So here we are and we're gonna kind of upgrade. Actually, do we want to race it stock? Because we're not gonna max it. We don't have the time. I'm probably gonna have to put this up for sale, but uh, you know, the guy who I traded it for uh, gave me a super good offer, like a maxed RX-7 GT spec for it. And I also gave him a Lambo with like, but uh, for this I, yeah, I'm super hyped for this as well, honestly. So we're not gonna add uh, anything on it, honestly, except, do we want some, like, weight reduction, maybe? Holy shit, that removes, like, 25% of the weight of the car. Okay. What? Okay, we can remove almost half of the weight of the car just by, uh, weight reduction. Holy shit, that's gonna really boost up the rating, honestly. Let's, uh, let's see what it can do. Uh, but first off, we're gonna uh, race it completely stuck with only rims, then we're gonna, uh, come on. Game, don't lag on me. Upgrade, ah, uh, for fuck's sake. It's broken again. Can't buy it, God damn it. So we will to start the game, but I, I really uh, am interested to see how this car can only perform, uh, how this car can perform with only uh, weight reduction, wheels upgrade, and suspension, obviously, but you know. Um, Whatever. So this is a car of you, as you guys are able to see from the title, not a build-up. I would love to uh, build up this car, but you know, the thing is, I need to finish the CLK GTR and the first place HSV builds, and, uh, yeah, after this, this uh, the hype for this car is probably gonna be over, so, you know, there you go, that worked. But uh, we're gonna go ahead, jump into a multiplayer lobby in the other mode, and see if it's as good as the um, CLK GTR. Which isn't very likely, considering how much I love that car, but uh, still, uh, we're gonna give it a try, because that's what we do. So let's see, is anyone, anyone gonna challenge us here? Mm. It's possible, but uh, is it gonna happen? Well, we might refresh, try to find a bot or two. We found three, which is even better, so... Uh, well, yeah. So I'm gonna try to drive it, uh, similar to the uh, CLK. GTR, but I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Let's see. Yeah, this is not gonna be the same. I can tell. But, you know. Yeah, there you go. I have to still appreciate. Okay, so first run. Um, it's not gonna be as challenging. Well, it might be uh, as challenging to drive as the CLK GTR. Uh, but the launch doesn't seem to be that complex. So it seems to be a mid to late second light, which is definitely welcome. Uh, so we're gonna try that again, obviously. And uh, try to get a perfect run with the car. So let's see. <laughs> Come on. There you go. So I'm gonna try to do the RVB launch. I think this is the Stella or something like that. Oh, there you go. That was almost... Uh, on point, I'm gonna shift it perfectly for now. If I manage to get a perfect launch, I'm gonna try to see which one, uh, which shifting is optimal. So let's see. I say, uh, so let's see a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. Also, this car seems to be a high 1650 stock, uh, considering the fact that, you know, I only added, um, rims on it, and it was 1651, so, uh, there you go. Alright, so we still have a, a single bot left. We got challenged, that's fine. We can do that. Buick JNX, okay. That's a comeback car. He's probably gonna fucking pass us right at the end, but uh, let's see. We have another goal. That car is pretty nice. There you go. 
the, that was a bit better. Actually, that was a lot better. There you go. 9.5. You know what? I actually want to see uh, if this car would be good for turf tuning, honestly. I mean, uh, 9.6. With me driving, you know, and uh, with... If we try to, like, uh, reduce the rims... Uh, not reduce the rims, but you know, we're gonna try to uh, find rims with less grip and we're gonna see if we can get this car to 1650. The game is glitching out as usual, but uh, let's see, we're gonna try these ones. I actually never purchased these rims before, but let's see. 1650, there you go. I don't think we can actually put any more parts on it before it goes into 1651. There you go, that's still 1651, I think. Now we're gonna, I guess we're gonna experiment. Uh, why don't we. Still 1650. So let's see, is this 1651 then? Yeah, so that's 1651. I'm looking at the rating and I'm trying to tell you guys. That's 1650 still, so there you go. Uh, if we also put suspension, it's probably gonna bump the car to another class. Oh, great, what the fuck is that? Uh, I didn't see that. Well, I saw it for a split second, so let's see. Still 1650. This is me trying to turf tune, basically. There you go, we're gonna jump to this. Ooh, the car is super low now. And it's still 1650, so we're gonna go for this. And, um... Actually, I'm gonna check if that thing opened up another tab, because I don't want that shit uh, to light the game up, so let's see. No, nope, it seems to be absolutely fine, so there you go. This is a kind of tuned uh, 1650 uh, C-Class DTM thing, and we get challenged by Corolla. Which, we should be faster than it, but you know, then again, it's me driving, so, who knows. Let's see. There you go, that's, that's pretty good. So, let's see what this, uh, this thing can do. Um, 9.5. It, it looked like, uh, something like that there, anyway. Uh, 92. So, you know, it would be able to... It might be able to go into 9.4s, which is um, a territory uh, which only, you know, a few cars can reach in 1650, such as the, you know, uh, the BMW M3 and the ZR1. So, you know, this thing pretty impressive. Um, I'm actually really impressed with it so far, you know. Uh, same as the CLK GTR. Kicks ass so far. Hey, Jay, hey, Jay. Hello. Oh, the game's backing up. Hello. There you go. Uh, so, let's see. Actually, I don't want to put weight reduction on it now, uh, mainly because the thing is, you know, if I put weight reduction on it, I don't think I'll ever be able to uh, put it off, same as the NOS, so... I don't know. This is, I mean, this is probably the best uh, to turf tuned, uh, as this card's gonna get, but, um, I don't know. Let's do uh, shooting at like 7.5k or something like that. I think that killed the momentum though of the car. Actually, no. It ran. Actually, it ran even better. Okay. Well, not even better uh, because, you know, it was actually worse. But uh, if we, you know, uh, reduce the reaction time, this is actually getting uh, better. Well, yeah. So, hmm. You know. Really impressed with these new mercs, honestly. I kinda wanna keep this one as well. Um, yeah. You, you know what? Uh, fuck it. So, if you guys actually want me to do a build up of this, um, after I'm done with the CLK GTR, please let me know. However, I still have a top 25 RX7 Rivals edition to build up, so uh, tell me which one you want me to build. This one or the top 25 RX7 Rivals edition first gen? Because. I'm really impressed with these new marks, you know? Um, I, I wonder if this car could possibly beat the Algera, which would be weird, you know? A car from mid-90s, I think? Um, I think this is from, like, 90s, uh, early 2000s. Um, but yeah, a car like this, you know, fucking racing the Algera, that would be uh, pretty fucking cool to watch, so... Let's see. I mean, is it faster than the RVBs? Actually, it could be, because, you know, this is a proper race car. So let's see. Come on, let's race. 
So you know, uh, basically the stealth launch for this card. Let's try shifting at 8k now. Uh, even though I think I might have uh, messed that up on the first two gears still. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be quite as good. So I guess uh, shifting uh, on uh, good shift is optimal. Even though that was still pretty, uh, pretty decent, honestly. So, yeah, I just... I'm really fucking impressed, as I've said uh, like 10 times this video, you know. Um, then again, I didn't even max it out yet. I might never... Uh, I might uh, never do actually, so you know, please let me know. What should I build up after the CLK GTR? This or the RX-7? Rallus Edition. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a go. Why not? The last time uh, we ran the RX-7 Rallus Edition, it was a lobby jumper, so let's see. And we get uh, our ass kick. Not as bad as the other time, though. Let's see. Oh, this is gonna be a good time. I'm calling it. Please be a good time. Oh, it, it was. There you go. So, you know, with a perfect reaction time, this would be a uh, 9.525. Which, uh, yeah, this thing can go into 9.4, so I'm, I'm calling it. So, you know, to uh, people who are actually, you know, good at getting good reaction times and racing in general, yeah, this, this is gonna be a fucking competitive card in the 1650 lobby. Uh, so, yeah. So that thing was 63 tuned. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, <laughs> like the RX, uh, I mean, like the fucking uh, Super uh, Race Editions as well. But, um, I don't know. The, this thing. You know, I'm gonna be able to give it a proper rating once I max it out. I think I might have to max it out, honestly. But that's for another day, anyway. Um, so, yeah, please let me know. Do you want me. Do you do a build up for the, uh, of this or the RX-7 Rivals Edition? Yes, I said that four times now. Probably, but um, yeah, I just love this card, honestly. Because this is a review, I will give it a rating of 9 out of 10, you know. Um, this card, I was kind of fucking worried when I saw uh, like the shitty shitty textures on the taillights, but uh, that's basically the only negative thing I have to say about this card so far. I mean, it's... Um, it's a it's a kick-ass card also. I, I, yeah, it comes with no conversions and no NOS, obviously. So, yeah, I have to praise this card. 9 out of 10, I would give it this. So, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Jerry, and I'll see you in the next episode of something. So, um, yeah, that was supposed to be Archer, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> see ya.